Hello, gems, and welcome to another segment of Money Motivational Mondays. If you remember, I started everyone on the first segment of my five-part series entitled Finance and Relationships. We first spoke about how to be financially single, creating a solid financial foundation for yourself, teaching people how to respect your finance, establishing financial barriers, i.e. I am not an ATM, what financial single accounts you should be opening up now as a single person with a lot of discretionary income. So today we will be discussing, are you financially compatible and are ready for an engagement, as well as the myth of dating and being broke. So let's go ahead and get started. How should we be approaching our finances as it pertains to dating and a possible future engagement? Finance and dating and working towards an engagement are things that need to be discussed between the two people in the relationship. That's obvious. I'm a firm believer that your dating and financial GPS will go where you set the coordinates to. That's a no brainer. Where most people fall short is not syncing up their GPS with one another so that you end up at the same spot at the same time. What things should you be looking for um, when you are dating someone? So let's go back to the segment on becoming a savvy financial single person. You should first know yourself and be honest with yourself about your finances so that you pick the person that is most compatible with you. This is not a setup. This is not a how did this happen situation, but this is someone you actually chose to be with. Therefore, their financial habits should not be a surprise to you. When you take the time to fully get to know someone, it includes their financial habits, which you can see often by just observing those habits. How many times does he, she go shoes or clothing shopping, online shopping, shop for electronics, treat themselves to a nice dinner, or go on extended vacation that require a plane ticket without doing proper financial planning? Are you asking the right questions? Do you ask, where do you like to travel, eat? Where's your go-to entertainment spot? This is so you can find out if you're dating someone who enjoys Popeyes or someone who enjoys Ruth Chris. Is this someone who enjoys the lavish and finer things in life regardless of the month, holiday, birthday, or it's just a Tuesday? You need to know these things because where they currently like to go is where you will be taking them. Trust. You will not be taking someone who enjoys the finer things and the finer restaurants to an all-you-can-eat buffet. This is simply not going to happen. If you successfully set up your financial boundaries as a single person, you will attract your financial compatibility significant other. Does your preference really dictate who we attract? Yes! If you prefer staying at home, cooking dinner, having drinks, and listening to music on a Friday night, as opposed to going out, you should be attracting the right type of date who appreciates your lifestyle now and can compliment you. If you enjoy going out and find it hard to stay in, when the sun is up, you're out, you need to find someone who appreciates your lifestyle now and can compliment you. Why do people seem to think they will be broke and dating? Being broke and single is a mindset that reflects your lack of communication with the person you are dating. You should never go broke dating someone because you will end up in debt when you get married and you will always be chasing the next paycheck. The idea of being broke and single evolved from lack of accepting someone who is not the best financially fit for your personality financial habits, which we discussed in one of my previous segments, knowing your financial habits. As a financial sound and stable person, you should not be dating someone who takes you off of your financial course pertaining to your financial goals. That's a no-go. Do not be surprised by who you choose as a significant other. Their, fin their financial habits didn't happen overnight. You didn't just pay attention to them. All right, Jim, that'll do it for today's Money Motivational Mondays. I hope you enjoyed some of the or all of the information that I provided part two on are you financially compatible will be next week as always i do my best to change habits change lives and change futures 
What are you doing to not only make a difference and change in your life, but the lives of those around you? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share to my channel. I'll see you next time. Take care.